The owners of the Wolf Creek Ski Area created a preseason plan to open as soon as the snow flies. They created their pre- and full-season plans based on responses to a survey that the ski area sent out to their database of past visitors this summer. Survey takers showed overwhelming support for the ski area to reopen by whatever means they can. Roseanne Pitcher, co-owner of the ski area, shares with us what their pre-season plan will look like. We built the uh, the opening, the pre-season plan on the... Um, on what our guests were thinking and and responding to us. So we are um, gonna open the lifts and really that's it. That's the preseason plan. So before we um, get to hear what the state is mandating, we can provide the lift service and, and everything else will be closed until we hear further. So that includes um, pretty much, you know, no ski school, no food and beverage, um, no water fountains, no, um, well, let's see, what else is there? No rentals. So really, when you come up, it's going to be like old school. You're just out there to ski. We recommend that you bring a bag, brown bag lunch and that uh, you have your own water and you're out for a day of skiing. Wolf Creek Ski Area is in the same boat as all other ski areas in Colorado since Governor Polis has not yet approved any reopening plans or provided any guidance for reopening ski areas to date. The governor did appoint a committee in October to oversee guidelines for ski areas to reopen, so everyone is hopeful that it will be coming soon and the Wolf Creek Ski Area is ready to go with their plan. We are uh, excited as as well as everyone else to just get out there and and just um, to go. So there will be um, you know the guidelines that everybody has been actually working with this whole time, which is uh, making sure you feel well before you come. So if you're feeling sick, you don't, we, you know, want you to stay home. So you assess yourself. And then, uh, of course, the face coverings and then the um, social distancing, wash your hands often. And, um, you know, the, the, all those steps we are, you know, um, requesting our guests to do when they come up. Pitcher mentioned that guests will be required to have some kind of face covering when getting on the lifts and when standing in lines. You may want to check their website before you head up to the mountain as well, since all ticket sales will be credit card only this year. Um, the other thing that would be different this year is that um, all sales will be credit card sales. So um, we're recommending that everybody pre-purchase their ticket. We haven't opened that up yet, but um, we are going to have people go online. You can go to the Wolf Creek website and then go to our e-store and you would purchase your lift tickets through the e-store. And a lot of our season pass holders have already experienced the e-store because that's how they bought their season passes this year. We didn't have anyone come up to the mountain. We just did it all over the phone. And, um, you know, if people had trouble with it, we um, walked them through it. And so that worked really well. So when they pre-purchase their ticket, they'll come to the ticket office to pick up their ticket. But the, um, you know, that, that should be, um, that should go pretty fast because we'll have a receipt that we can scan and then the ticket will be printed and we'll give it to the guest. You know, check our website. That would be important because we are going to post when we run out of inventory over the holiday periods. Whatever this ski season will end up looking like, one thing is for sure. Skiers are ready to hit the slopes, especially since last year's season was cut short. We weren't sure how season pass sales were going to go. And um, last year, I think, was our best season pass sale that we ever had. And we sold as many season passes this year as we did last year, which is a really good indication that, um, 
you know, that people are ready to ski and they're, um, you know, the local community community has been super supportive. To follow updates on this year's ski season, tune in to Wolf Creek's website at www.wolfcreekski.com. Thank you for watching this edition of Pagosa Local News.